for each of you at this stage, what are the easy no's? Even as, as actors, what is, are there no-go areas? I mean, I'll, I'll give you an example. Pankaj Tripathi told me that he said that, you know, I would not, I, I don't judge characters anything, but, but if it comes to playing a character where, um, where the person has to be cruel to children, he said, I'm just, that's just something I don't think I want no, to do. No, I don't think I have any such uh, moral or ethical right. uh, no, takes I on just, the work that yeah, I do. I just have this, that it has to touch me. It has yeah. to really hit me. Mm. If it yeah. doesn't, no matter how big yeah. it is or whatever, to me, yeah. then I'm like, Achha. that's exactly yeah, what right. I, mean, I, don't I want. I want to work all... with stuff that resonates with me. I am not. Inter- I don't want. I'm not. I don't want. To, I don't work for money. I work for love. Mm. And if I fall in love with something, I'll. I will bend backwards to see it. Like I remember me. Zoya's short film for the the. Not the not the last one, the earlier the one, one the right. in which Bombay I had played the father, to, uh, the Katrina story. Bombay talkies, yeah. So in that, the I had to play girl, a cruel yeah. father. I had to play like uh, the father who you know doesn't like his child dressing up in uh, in girls' clothes, in, yeah. Girls with sisters' clothing, Lipstick and, and right. But I mean, it's, it's really guys, believe me, it's so different from me because I I am not at all cruel father types, <laughs> you know. So. Uh, we had great fun actually because as soon as the camera would cut and I was supposed to slap him, we would break into a dance. Like, hut, tick, <laughs> <laughs> How else to be able to play out a scene with a child where you're going to be overtly cruel to him mm. yeah. and still not make him feel, you know, Unloved. the cruelty of, right. of the mom- of that moment. Yeah. So I mean, I'll. You don't I, have those, yeah. I know. Yeah. In fact, I look forward to these challenges at work, right. which is. To- Show me the manoj. I mean, do you have? Uh, you know, I always thought that I would never play uh, a guy who who's very cruel or say sexual to uh, to women. Yeah. Uh, but my God, you know, love Sonia. Love Sonia. That's I was coming. Oh my to that. God, that yeah. scene. Yeah. You know so which one I'm talking about? In the car. <laughs> in the car. <laughs> where you trade a girl for but a cigarette. But I was very disturbed yeah. that night. I was snapping out. I was. You. I hated yeah, you. Yeah. I hated myself oh, when yeah. I was doing that scene, and I always felt that you no, know, I'm not judgmental to the character that I play. Mm. But that character completely blew, blew me off. I yeah. mean, it disturbed me when I was doing it. Yeah. Disturbed me. The the director and the producer, they were standing, you know, two hundred meter away from me completely yeah. because I was terrible, snapping yeah. out. I was snapping out. I didn't want to do that scene. But uh, yes, I mean, that I always I know, the, the, when they came to me, I said no. Mm. They came to me thrice. And then Mukesh Shabra said, Manoj bhai, please kar lo, mm. you know, because they can't think of anybody else. Then I sat with them on, on, on all the scenes. Then I asked them, I insisted on taking out one scene, which I felt that it was there just to, you know, make it sensational. Right. I said, you can do without it. Then, then they went back and revisited their own script. They mm. took out that sequence. Mm. They thanked me for it. Mm. Still, I wanted to say no, you know, it, because uh, the, the character that it was. Uh, then one fine evening, you know, it just occurred to me that, you know, Manoj, why are you saying no to it? Right. You know, he's not looking at women as, uh, an, uh, you know, as a sexual object, but he's looking at them as his business product. Correct. Yeah. You know? yeah. So that, when that occurred to me, well, the intention of the guy occurred right. to me, I said yes to it. Oh. And then I went full, full hog, but few of the sequences like that one. Yeah. It disturbed me completely. I can yeah. see why. It's very disturbing to the viewers. Yeah. <laughs> Shabita, anything that you'd say just no to? On morality grounds, I never judge a character because I feel like people exist like that. I yeah. may not know them, yeah. but all kinds of people exist and I might not agree with them, but I have to accept that such is the reality. Uh, for me, that call had to do more with the, the kind of projects I was a part of because when I was starting out, I was... Um, I really wanted to do films where I had some performance to do, something at right. all, because I don't have people backing me. Sure. So I just wanted to feel secure by doing projects that, you know, that people knew that, okay, fine, she is someone who's, who can be hired to deliver mm. performance. So that was very important. So I was certain that I just didn't want to be reduced to some happy, pretty, dancey thing. That right. I was sure of from the beginning. 